how to lift and hold a baby to avoid postural asymmetries at the neck and back. The first thing to do to hold a baby is to hold and lift him well. So we pass well with the middle finger and thumb behind his little head. I'll pass with the middle finger behind his neck and with the index finger, I'm gonna hold the little head to lift it up as if it were a bowl. So I step completely behind. Here we go. I take it perfectly. I slide my other hand behind along his back. I come as close as you see to the baby. I rotate the little head and lean it against me. From here, with my right hand if he's looking toward my right, with my left hand if he's looking to the left, I pin him to me. In this way, as you see, he is perfectly on axis. He is supported mainly by this hand that goes on the little head and behind the torso. And with the other one, I give a second support at the level of the little bottom. This way, the little head is perfectly on axis, so it is not tilted, it is simply rotated. Alternate once to its left, once to its right, then watch out if they already have a torticollis. Your osteopath will tell you that one where to rotate it well and keep it perfectly on axis. You have to be careful to put the child over the shoulder because this way sometimes the child has part that is not supported. You see how the little head dangles completely. And sometimes it tends to take a tilt towards, in this case, left, because obviously we keep it a little bit tilted and you could create contractures also at the neck level, which is why even when he is then lying down, he keeps them and it's not good at all. The same thing, pay attention if you hold the baby this way. Why? Because as you see, look at how the little head tilts to the right and completely rotates. It's not perfectly on axis and it's in extension, so it's not good at all because it's not supported. It has a tilt and a rotation. I know that sometimes it is an ideal position for the baby to fall asleep in. However, it is absolutely not good for his neck. Look at how it is tilted, you see? In a child who doesn't have any particular stiffness or contractures in the neck, it might, as it were, not notice anything even in the long term. In a child, on the other hand, who suffers from torticollis or plagiocephaly, all these cares are essential. I then, I mean look from here, see how it is tilted? Okay, relative to the axis it is tilted that way. Also be careful to keep it this way all the time because here we are giving it a rotation toward us and obviously we should eventually alternate it. So I recommend if you keep him on his side, always support his little head. Hold him well, one arm on the little head and one arm underneath, but to alternate once to the right and once to the left, the little head. So once on this side and once diametrically to the opposite side. You will hear some noise because we went over the microphone, but that's part of the game. Here we are. So you see how you support. As in breastfeeding, the hand then goes to fully support the little head. Hello, Joy. You look beautiful. Another very important thing is if you hold him, on your stomach, then pass well underneath. Support the little head well. Be careful not to give a particular head tilt so you don't have to crook him completely. You have to hold him on axis, support him well. You see, I was not supporting him while I was talking how he dangles. I have to go well underneath with my hand so that his cheek and ear are perfectly supported. And watch how he stays perfectly on axis. Once he looks to the right, once he will look to the left. From here, it is also very comfortable to do then the osteo massage part, so the belly massage, but that is another chapter apart. Be careful, however, not to keep him sitting forward. Why? I'll show you. Babies love this position, but watch. Okay? The little head dangles completely, and especially in the first few months, we can't allow that because they don't have tone to fully support yet and risk creating tilt and rotational asymmetries. Do you see how crooked everything is? In addition to that, not only the little head and the torso, I mean, look at the difference between left and right, but also the back part that tends to hunch when we keep him sitting. And the longer they stay in this position, the more they hate, then stay prone to do tummy time. And so it's worse for their motor development. So I don't recommend this position either because of this little head dangle or the back part. Always much better the chest to chest part, as we saw in the first position where the baby's little head is fully supported. Another position to pay attention to is this one. Here the little head remains supported, but of course the baby gradually to look straight ahead will tend to tilt the head to the left. See, I also do this with my arm, okay? Compared to the axis, the little head tilts to the left. 
what happens? What happens is that in the long run, if we use it for one or two months, the children when they are lying down, then you have them with their little head tilted and it's not at all. Well, so take care. I know the baby likes these positions so much, we can do a hundred or a thousand other things, but really use them with the dropper. The position of excellence for holding the baby is always that chest to chest with the little head turned once to the right, once to the left and perfectly supported by our hand. You see how it is perfectly on axis. Very well, we will see you on our websites, matthewsilvastopata.com and drsilva.com, where you will find all the video courses to promote the best development of mother and baby and the psychomotor development of the Enete. And in the next video, hello!